Why do xenomorphs not have eyeballs? The black goo is a genetic accelerant that weaponizes the weakest parts of our own biology. The liability of getting poked in the eye is removed altogether while still remaining the skeletal influence from the host it originated from. The frontal lobe has highly sensitive thermoreceptive organs that allows them to see heat and pheromones at once. This means fear becomes visible to the xenomorph like shown in Alien Earth. The more stress hormones you have, the higher the body temperature will rise, making you an easier target to find. Likewise, the groin, another region of vulnerability, has been been replaced by an elongated armored skull, turning the head into a living battering ram. The inner jaw is what produces the resin it uses to form its hide. However, it also performs like the inner jaws found in some eels that latches onto larger prey without losing its grip. The average xenomorph will span anywhere from 7 to 9 feet tall with a robust exoskeleton made of polarized silicon. Silicon gives them exceptional environmental resistance except to fire, which I'll touch on in a second. But it's what prevents their own acid blood from melting straight through their body. The reason their blood is acid is because their blood doesn't circulate through the body, delivering oxygen like ours does. Instead, theirs remains still becoming pressurized like acid in a car battery. Just like a car battery, fire threatens their entire body into a catastrophic chemical reaction. The tubes protruding from the back function as atmospheric filters for the respiratory system, allowing them to breathe in virtually any environment. And finally, the extremely long tail is a balancing organ that helps them propel through water and also spear their enemies like a scorpion. That's all for today. Class dismissed.